afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Father. I would like to welcome all of you to today's liturgy of the fourth Sunday of Easter. And I would like to offer this Mass along with you for the following intentions. Diocese of Warangal, Fatima Nagar Parish. This Mass is offered for Divyavani TV Karpas Fund donor, Thanugundla Mathias Reddy and Vijay Kumari, for good health of all family members and good future of their children and for the departed souls of Thanugundla Shaurady, Inyasamma, Syamala Chennapuradi, and thanking God for all the graces received by Thanugundla Ranjit Reddy, Archana, Riona, Thanugundla Sandeep Reddy, Sindhuri, Mary Advika and family members. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy, Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. We will also pray for them. And we also offer this Mass for all the intentions of the donors of the Vyavani who support it, making a lot of sacrifice. That God may give them in abundance what they lack. And also, we pray for all your intentions, those who are participating in this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Good Shepherd. Good Shepherd with magnitude of saints. Magnitude of people. That's what the vision in Revelation tells us today. So there are so many saints from all walks of life only encourages us in spite of whatever our background is that God is calling us to holiness and to a relationship with him. So unless there is a relationship with Jesus, we cannot be part of Good Shepherd. We cannot be part of his sheep. So let us ask ourselves, do we allow that relationship because these people were drenched in the blood of the Lamb. And they, were, and, and they were turned into white. Their clothes turned, garments turned into white because it's all a lot of sacrifice they have to put up. And today are we ready to put up any sacrifice? Or is our faith just shallow? So let us ask the Good Shepherd to give us the courage to follow him in loving because he loved them, loved the sheep so much that he gave up his life. So also let that we mean love the, the shepherd so much that we do not care for things, maybe inconvenience, maybe things that are not comfortable, maybe sometimes things that are a little difficult. So let's feel sorry for those moments and ask God's pardon if we have failed him to be faithful, to be thankful, to be grateful and above all, to follow him and to believe in him in difficult times. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and to and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, me. for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy.
Almighty, ever living God, lead us to your share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Behold, we are turning to the Gentiles. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, verses 14 and 43 to 52. In those days, Paul and Barnabas went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue and sat down. And after the meeting of the synagogue broke up, Many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who, as they spoke with them, urged them to continue in the grace of God. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and began to contradict what was spoken by Paul, revealing him. And Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken first to you, since you thrust it aside and judge yourselves unworthy of eternal life. Behold, we are turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have made you a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord. And as many as were appointed to eternal life believed. And the word of the Lord was spreading throughout the whole region. But the Jews incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city, stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their district. But they shook off the dust from their feet against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.
the lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd and he will guide them through the springs of the living water second reading a reading from the book of revelation chapter 7 verses 19 verses 14b to 17 i john looked and behold a great multitude that no one could number from every nation from all tribes and people and languages standing before the thrones and before the lamb clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and one of the elders said to me these are the ones coming out of the great tribulation they have washed their robes and made them white in the lamb of god therefore they are before the throne of god and serve him day and night in his temple and he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence they shall hunger no more neither thirst any more and sun shall not strike them nor any scorching heat for the lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd and he will guide them through the springs of living water and god will wipe away every tear from their eyes the word of the lord from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord gospel of john chapter 10 verses 27 to 30 at this time jesus said my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand my father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand I and the father are one the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord jesus christ Now friends today we have a great multitude of people with the good shepherd that's the vision John had a lot of times we have uh, a problem to include or to be inclusive so we try to be very very choosy and sometimes we try to keep people away from the group or from the flock and this happens not just outside world but also it happens in the catholic church today the lord is telling us a very powerful message that those people the great multitude belong to everybody all races all languages all kinds of uh, people from all kinds of nations so that reminds the nature of the church the nature of the church is the universal a lot of times people think because like the jews jews also thought that they were the people chosen and today sometimes catholics behave as if they are the only people um who are right and the protestants behave as if the catholics go to hell 
now this is an eye opener for all of us today the good shepherd with great multitude that is the vision and uh, today where did this evangelization of the gentiles start actually it started in phrygia that is antioch where paul and barnabas were preaching so they preached on one sabbath day because it is on the sabbath day people used to gather and it was the jews first they preached and then they finished the service and all that then they said they will come back again the next sabbath but when the next sabbath day came there were a lot of people whole city came whole city would be who not just the jews also others jews also were there so this the jews could not stomach they felt jealousy they felt that their special privileged status of being close nation close race to the lord yahweh is taken away so they were even violent against paul and barnabas it is this time paul talks about since you refused we are going out but actually speaking that is not the point here the point is it's not because they refused that uh, the, uh, the preaching is given to the gentiles no it was what st paul would follow up saying first he said it's because you refused but afterwards he tells them it's not because you just refused Mm. the lord has commanded us so st paul is taking this as the command coming from the lord what is the command i have made you light of the gentiles that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth and when gentiles heard this and where does this quote so to say come from from Isaiah 49:6 so in Isaiah prophet speaks about that it is not only the people remnant people of Israel that you come to bring in your leadership but also every one so that my light will shine in front of everyone and i will make you a light to shine among all nations so it is the isaiah 49 chapter 49 and verse 6 and same thing is taken as the command of the lord by paul so let us understand that it is the plan of god it is in the very plan of god that all will be converted and evangelized not just the jews so this is the message today and because all shall see my glory isaiah 46 40 chapter 46 says it is here that the impetus is taken for evangelization of the gentiles but it is not because they refuse no and now actually speaking also what happened towards the end the revelation gives us a vision of people of great multitudes where everybody will be there revelation chapter 7 we have and we see them standing what is the posture for standing what is the posture of standing meant it it means it is a posture of worship so all the people will worship the lord and that's what we do every mass we stand and worship the lord and today we should ask ourselves sometimes we are very very negligent in the mass no respect we go this way that way not knowing what is happening and the presence of god we forget so we people should be in the posture of worship that is standing and the second thing speaks about the clothes 
turned white. Why the white robes they wore? The white robes, what is that? Stand for. Usually, if you want to clean the clothes, you put in the water. But where did these people put in the blood? In the blood of the lamb, that is Jesus shed. Also in their own blood, that is the martyrs. So you can clean yourself or purify yourself. You can feel you are worthy of heaven only when you can go through this suffering in this world. And that's why the word of God says they are the people who put up with everything. So as a Catholic, as a Christian, are you ready to put up with some suffering or not? Or do you want simply uh, a lot of people, no, Protestants, some Protestants. If you believe in God, there is no problem. Is that true? You don't have any uh, problems. Everything is uh, all hallelujah and all uh, miracles. No, it's not true. If you believe in God, doesn't mean that you have no problems. No. Only you will not be destroyed. And that's what Jesus gives us the assurance. Those who believe will not be destroyed. They may be cornered, but they will not be destroyed. Like Paul would say, so many things came against us, but nothing could drench us or drown us. So many things come against us, but nothing can quench us or drench us or drown us. And my dear friends, God will wipe away all the tears. And who would be people, those who are people of great multitude or part of the great multitude would be those who do four things. Number one, the shepherd speaks and we must hear. That's why Jesus says, my shepherd hear my voice. So people who hear his voice, the sheep hear my voice. What, do you, what does it mean hearing? First of all, hearing means recognizing the authority of Jesus on our lives and giving him the priority of our life and having a communion with him. We need to have a relationship with Jesus. Unless you have a relationship with Jesus, you cannot say you belong to Jesus. You cannot say you listen to Jesus or you are hearing to Jesus. A lot of people say, I am going to church. No, it's not true. You must have a relationship. You must be under his control, in his reign, and he should be your priority, and you should recognize his authority over your life. That's number one. That's those who hear him. And those who follow him, who are those people who follow him? Those who cling to him in spite of bad and good. And those who have a discipleship mentality. You should become a disciple. Because there will be a lot of followers. Not everybody is a disciple. All followers are not disciples. A lot of people follow religion, Christian religion. Like they say good things, you know. Like Jesus said a lot of good things. So I follow it. But disciple is somebody who clings to in bad and good, thing, good times. Who clings to Jesus. And the third aspect is know Jesus. And Jesus knows you. Actually, only Jesus can know us. We cannot know Jesus completely. And St. Peter says, Whom shall we go to? You have the words of eternal life. Where shall we go? So can we say that about us? Lord, where shall I go? Is it not you I depend upon? You are my solace. You are my comfort. You are my fortress. You are my everything. Or is there any power that you hang on to? Is there any relationship that you hang on to? Above all, will you be able to say, Jesus is my treasure. Jesus is my strength. Jesus is my support. And then, then only you can. The fourth one is, Jesus gives eternal springs of life. What does that mean? So a lot of times, these multitude people have suffered a lot in their life. Mother Teresa, to name a few, John Paul the Great, Padre Pio, Maximilian Kolbe, 
all these people suffered. But they suffered in this world, but they are not lost forever. So Jesus says, even if you suffer in this world, I shall give you eternal life. I shall lead you to springs of water. Eternal life springs of water. So my dear friends, today, our call is to be a saint. And it's difficult. If you want to bring, belong to those multitude of peoples, you have to go through these steps. And let us ask ourselves to give us the good shepherd, to give us knowledge about him, to help us to follow him, to help us to listen to him, so that one day we may be worthy to receive his kingdom. And here on earth, every day. Because people tried to harm Paul and Barnabas, they still firmly believed and went on. And Jesus, if he plans, it is his will, he will give life even in the midst of hell. I can tell you that. Even in the midst of hell, he can give you success. He can give you anything. If he wants to give you, he can give you in the middle age, in the old age also he can give you. Because ultimately, what Jesus says, I and the Father are one. And nobody can take away from my Father. Okay, you have harmed me. And Jesus says, when Jesus was alive, he did not allow the disciples to suffer. Did anybody harm any, any of the disciples while Jesus was caught? No. He says, whom do you want? You want me, so let, him, let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Leave them. And they, they were left. It's only they wantonly when they believed, then when they were ready, they were ready to sacrifice themselves. But otherwise, Jesus would not allow them. And because he loved them, he would not do that. Second thing, he had the power. Because... I and Father are one. We have the candle, Easter candle, which is a symbol of Jesus' dead body. Dead body has no light, but it is lit from the fire. Fire is Lord the Father, Heavenly Father. Fire, fire, you can never quench the fire. You may quench the candle, but not the fire. Fire is God, and Father is the one from whom you cannot take away any of my disciples. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He went down to the dead. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers, let us pray for our Pope Francis and all the, the bishops and the priests that they may be good shepherds after the heart of Jesus, that they may be able to evangelize all people, irrespective of whatever the differences, that they may also be an exemplary, uh, example, examples for an exemplary life in the way they embrace everybody. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Also would like to pray for all those people on this earth trying to be saints and they are struggling, that God may give them the strength. And all of us, that we may hear the voice of the Lord, that we may follow him, and that we may know him closely. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for all, especially the donors of Divya Bani, that God said and promised that you will not be destroyed. And I will give you the grace. That the, God may give grace in abundance, especially where they lack something in their lives. And especially that God may bring their generosity to fulfillment, that their generosity, like Paul and Barnabas took the word of God to the ends of the earth, 
and that's God's plan and that Divyavani may be blessed to take the word of God alive to the ends of the world for this we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer now pray for your own intentions in silence We ask all these intentions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant we pray Lord that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation all, at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you at more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the hills and the halls of the heavenly kingdom, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome the paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop Paul Antony and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. With, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Saint Joseph, her chaste powers, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are here with the Good Shepherd who laid his life, who laid down his life for us. And we have his blood and body that will bring us to eternal life. He said, I will lead you to the springs of water, of life, eternal life. So shall we pray? We need strength to become that great multitude, to be able to put up with anything. So let us pray for that strength, maybe that weakness that God may remove from our lives. And that God, the Good Shepherd, may be with us and guide us through in our life, in our struggles, so that one day we will be with him. For the, let us pray, calling God our Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, with such your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to his supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites a chosen people come and dine. Where the Sara he doth fed and supplies our every need. For this meal to suffer Jesus all the Good Shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind Shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, this man month is called the month of Mary, the Marian month, month of also Rosary. And we have special prayers to Mother Mary for her intercession throughout this month. 
evening it starts at 5.30. So if you would like to offer, you have to just contribute 200 rupees and offer. And uh, you have more days left, so you're welcome to do that. And also pray especially through our intercession, especially at this time when we need much more grace and when we need a lot of help. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, give thanks to the Lord for each.